What's up guys, it's your boy Rue and we are back for another Yeast 9 video. So we'll do a real quick recap and then we'll get on with the gameplay. So last time, we finally found out the Hawk's identity. His name is Credo, I believe I Blinger is how you pronounce his last name. And he's a Hieroglyph Knight. So he has personal history with the man himself, Shadowlord. And they had their little one-on-one -on -one fight and he got absolutely bodied. That's when we found out his identity because it's probably because he went unconscious, his power ran out. Obviously, he detransformed. After that, we gotta learn his backstory. He has a fairly dark backstory, right? He's an orphan. The person that was he looked up to the most, he confided in, was killed right in front of his eyes. So that it completely explains why he's such a smoke demon. And then right after that, we are now here in this prison area with this second Adolf. Okay. So let's find out. I'm really hoping in this one we find out who exactly this guy is. So let's get a move on. If you guys see me looking to the left at all, I'm basically just checking OBS to make sure. Lock? Is there supposed to be a key? Oh, I forgot about that. How am I supposed to remember? It's been so long. See, so yeah, if you see me looking to the left, I'm just making sure OBS is running. If you guys see me tweaking with this thing, I literally just got this mic today. So I'm still messing with the settings just to make sure the audio is sounding perfect for y'all. Alright, we picked the lock. Let's get out of here. So this adult, this version of adult is trying to escape to continue his adventure. So, okay, so adult parentheses prison. Uh, look, controls look the same. So my question is, he's, he says he wants to leave to go on an adventure. Does that mean he has the same exact memories? Like what exactly is going on here? This door won't budge, okay. So I'm really curious, hopefully if we get more information, I don't know what this adult is supposed to be. Like, is it another identity? Is it the adult we know? Like, what is going on? What's happening? Hopefully we finally get answers because last time we came here, all we did was come here and then it just cut straight back into the dandelion. Okay, check the small room for whatever reason, all right. He can't roll, all right then. What are we supposed to check? A rusty sword, so we're gonna be able to play with this adult too. Okay. What is so... We have a rusted sword. I'm equipping that rusted sword. Do I have skills? Okay, so he can fight. Alright then. So I haven't actually haven't played this game in a couple days. So I'm a little bit rusty. It's going to take me a little bit of while. But I'm pretty sure I should be able to dash. So that I'm, I didn't really read those controls a second ago. I probably should have, let's be honest. Okay. A whole new... A whole, oh no, okay. So I'm so stupid. L1 is to, to roll. I don't know why I totally forgot that. I did play Trails recently, so that, that may be why like, I'm totally got to get used to these controls again. But no excuse. Okay, there's a graffiti mark. Now, my question is, are my items different? My items are different. I have zero equips, zero accessories. Nothing there. What about the journal? What's the journal looking like? Okay, so this looks like a completely separate aspect to the story. Alright then. What's this graffiti? Only corpses manage to get out from here. Only corpses, you say? Abandon all hopes and dreams, yet ye who knows what's good for you. Okay, so remember, one thing I'm going to keep in mind about this is that Aprilis said the prison has a dark history. Does this have something to do with that dark history? Maybe we'll find out, who knows? But I have zero gold, essentially, all new items, new bag, new everything. Zero on the journal list, so I guess this is a whole new like side of the story. I don't know. Let's find out. This is probably what gives the depth to the game because so far I felt like it was kind of lacking. Not in terms of um, playability, but just in terms of compared to 8, it just felt like there wasn't as much content. I may just be tripping though. A single sheet of paper. The inmate in question is under heavy suspicion of agitation, mental instability, and crimes of the highest order. Okay. All right then. You tried searching the shelves for anything of use. Raisins, hey, we got some heals. Just remember, we had no items when we just checked. What level are we, by the way? We are level 10, okay. What's about to happen? Someone is coming right this way, you don't have time to hide. It's a prison guard. I don't think so. I'm about to body you. I'm about to body you. What you mean? 
<sighs> Just taking a walk. Oh, please. I'm scared. You guardsmen ain't nothing. Because I have a rusted sword. Your little rapier on your little pocket side there ain't going to match up to my rusted sword. It's all about skill, baby. It's all about that skill. What? I'll let you off easy this time. Go on, stroll wherever you please. Yeah? It's totally not a trap. Totally not a trap whatsoever. Yeah, this side of the prison seems kind of really weird. I don't know. I'm getting strange vibes from this. I don't need to run. You don't know what I've been through. I'm assuming this is the same at all, so you don't know what I've been through. What? He's going to let us off? I'm so confused. What is happening right now? Why is this guard letting us off? Dude, that does I feel like he's gonna stab us from the back. Let's be, be real. Because that doesn't make any... Oh, okay, so now they're, they're teaching us how to evade. Easy money. Let's go. Break these carts. No items. Keep it moving. Alright, what's here? While Duke's cityscape sprawls below. It must be holding you in some sort of prison tower. Oh, is that that one prison tower that's super high up? I think I saw it when, um... So I was wandering around doing some shenanigans around the city and I went up all the way at the top of the main gates. And I saw some super large tower that went all the way up in the sky. Maybe this is what we're at? It is a pleasant surprise to see you here. Why do I recognize this voice? A preposterous surprise, to be sure. A preposterous surprise. Wait, is this that in, in the, um, what am I looking for? The in investigator? No, the interrogator. Is that I'm that girl? I am aware of your encounter with the Monstrums earlier. I am aware of your encounter, so that is Shadow Lord. I was right. So what has you hurrying back to the prison so soon? Master Shadow Lord of the Hieroglyph Knights. So this is right after our encounter with them, with the, the Monstrums encounter with them. And that is that girl, the one that um, interrogated the Adol that becomes the Crimson King. That version of Adol. Despite how it may appear, I do have business here, interrogator. Okay, what is that business? Or should I say, the paranormal investigator of the Roman Empire. What? Paranormal investigator? So something is going on here, but she's probably here to um, and I'm assuming she's here to investigate Aprilis. Because technically you can consider Aprilis as paranormal activity, I guess. Although I would consider Don't there being two adults. Otherwise, I, I, would, I would probably consider there being two adults paranormal, like, for sure. Are you kidding me? But if you are aware of my title... So she isn't normal. I had a feeling. Her name is Ingrid. Then you should be aware of the consequences of questioning my actions. I mean, he's at the top of the Hieroglyph Knights. What you gonna do? That was not my intention. I was merely curious as to the reason why you acted without Belger's approval. I do not require his nor your permission to do anything. Okay. But you will tell me this. Where is Adol Kristen? I'm at two places at once. You can't find me. So that is what you are after. It makes sense now. Oh, 
now it kind of makes sense why this Ingrid person was so like... So, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but basically why she was so insistent on Adol committing all those like... Crimes, crimes, I guess, in the beginning of the game. Like, the very beginning of the game. Because she, she investigates paranormal activity and everything basically about his life is paranormal. Like, from what I understand. Especially like, the only game I played was East 8 and that was definitely some paranormal stuff going on over there. Unfortunately. Reports remain that he is still missing after his escape. Okay. Wait. So, reports... Reports remain that he is still missing after his, his escape, but there was an adult in the prison that was locked up. And they looked exactly the same. So what is... Okay, let's move on. My let's negligence move. is partly to blame for this oversight. Please, accept my apologies. I see. Very well. That's quite enough for today. Whoa, whoa, Should I... you come across any leads regarding his whereabouts, notify me at once. Wait, I need some more information. You can't leave. Despite my reluctance, it is my duty to see this mission through. So I guess she's here to investigate his life? Is that what it is? You have my word. Not necessarily about Duke. I'm surprised... I'm surprised Shadowlar did not notice this guy. Don't tell me we're gonna cut back into the dandelion. Please don't tell me. I freaking knew it, man. That's chapter 3, but I freaking knew it. They always do this. They Why do they so show little of that? I want to see more. Who is that at all? Like, who is he actually? Nice. Give me those twilight shards. I'm just gonna... I'm only gonna... I'm gonna keep hoarding these items until I have, like, a purpose for it. Because right now, I don't really know what I need to get with them. But dang it, man. I wanted to see more. Like, come on. Like, that should be a little bit longer. Hey, there's Credo. He's chilling with us now. Dude, I love... Credo's design is pretty dope. Although, he's a little bit too edgy. Just a tad. Just a tad. Artisan Lane? Northwestern part of town. Each with its own rich history and culture. From daily necessities to specialty crafts and antiques. All kinds of shopping can be done there. Alright, more exploring. So now, which monstrum are we going to look into in this one? I'm hoping it's the doll. Because I want to know what's her deal. Chain of serial burglaries? The culprits are said to be none other than the monstrums. So all that's left is the bull, the doll, and renegade, if I'm not mistaken. Although now I'm hoping that that the uh, hawk is all out and about, that he'll actually join the party on the streets, on the main streets. Because the last time I was only able to use him in the underground, he never came with us. Yeah, I forgot I gave her that little mishy bear thingy. I'm only here for that free drink I was promised. <laughs> only a coward would sneak around like that. He would do it in broad daylight. I believe that. I believe that for sure. Recently was the Rigen Dale's antique shop. Okay. Rigen Dale, how the heck do you say that? Are they related to Pendleton? Never mind. Okay, yeah, I was right. The Pendleton company has been doing business with them. Because it didn't make sense what other reason she would know them. You know what I'm saying? They probably did some trades and stuff. Icons, they were idols. Huh. So are you saying people are starting to dress as monstrums? Are you serious? 
Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait. Talk to him if I want some actual fighting. So does that mean he'll fight with us? Like, I don't care if he won't roam with us, like, do all the adventuring, but I need him to, like, body some of the Marys. I just wanted to tuck him into bed and shoo all his little worries away. He'd probably kill you if you tried doing something like that. If he goes anywhere near Credo, trying to do something like that, he will slice him up. Like, for sure. And, let's, and Christian wants no parts of that, man. She's terrified of him. Alright, let's go investigate. Obviously, she wants to come. She can't leave my mans alone. She has to follow him everywhere. Although, I don't mind. Man, it makes it easier for all the, like, fighting. Because she's not that bad, honestly. The white cat is not that bad. Oh, we have to dispel the barrier first. Depending on how long it takes, I might do that off screen. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The hawk just said he was willing to fight monsters. Let him. Come on, man. Like, as soon as I trigger that barrier, I'm expecting him to join. Hey, the doll search. The doll search. We're finally getting into her story. Let's get it. Oh, that's right. More quests. I'm going to do these real quick. For sure. I need these items. And some of them are actually interesting because in the chapter 2, we, we saw that I like those. You know what I'm saying? We saw that I like those. So let's see what these got. Someone news joined the crew. Is this a silhouette? That, that girl with that weird ass mask? What services does she got for me? All right. So now we're back to this version of Adol. I had a feeling the other part was going to be short, but just a part of me was really hoping there would be some in-depth story for it. But uh, I was... Shouldn't... I expected too much. I didn't even look, but okay. An innocent detainee held captive. Are we about to have to go into the prison for a side quest? You have got to be kidding me. I mean, the hawk for sure should want to come, right? Yes. Let's do it. Okay, but why was she why was she being held captive though? I pressed the wrong button. I wanted to know why she was being held. Top floor of the central wing. Is that where we were being held last time? Where did you get that information, huh? It's fair enough. The most secure sector is, of course it is. The warden's office is right there. That's great. Are you really sure this is a side quest? Of course. I just remembered. There's a black market dealer who operates in the... Hey, it's that one guy! I can't remember his name, but I talked to him in the very beginning of this playthrough. I'll find a way in one way or another. I'll bust my way through. You know what I'm saying? I'll transform, take my sword out, and just go straight in the front entrance. I ain't scared. Alright, let's do this. Apparently, let's do this side quest, which seems like a real quest. No, uh, no care package, no nothing. That's great. Oh, there she is. There's Silhouette. What do you got for me? What are, what services is this lovely maid gonna offer me? Is it the professor? Yes, yeah, Professor Valen. 
Cole's is the guy that saved your life. That mustache, though. He's an anthropologist. He wants to shadow them. What in the world? What in the world? A flesh sample? <laughs> the first thought that came to mind is if he tries to take a sample from the hog. Can you imagine what would happen? He wants to become a monster? What is with this guy? Okay, he is uh, he's very, very strange. I honestly prefer sure I I almost prefer Shantae over this guy. This guy is crazy. Wait, so does she not know that Errand Runner? What does that mean? Supplies? Are you okay? I mean, she could easily get locked up again because of that mask, but I guess so. I mean, they're mainly concerned with the monsters, but I feel like if someone sees someone walking around with a mask like that, like, wouldn't she want to, like, lock her up? Silhouettes, Aaron runs. Can shop at any store? You've been to? Whoa. So I don't have to actually go to that store physically, I can just go to her? Yo, that's handy. That's super handy. It's a good thing I did that side quest, that's why you do side quests. Especially on your first playthroughs. Yes! Hey, what would you like me to do? Yo... What is that? It increases my strength by 13? Bruh. I might get that. Because I don't have the materials. F 1500? Never mind. Never mind. I do not want that. Never freaking mind, dude. Stop being such a worry ward. Like, what is her problem? Like, loosen up a little bit. He's very trustworthy. The black market can always be trusted. Like, come on now. Maxim, Maxim. I need information. Yeah. I need the information. -ness. Is he going to want to make a deal? Five hundred gold? I mean, it's not the worst. Hey, it's a good thing I didn't buy that weapon. If I bought that weapon, I would be completely broke right now. Hey, by the way, sorry for like if I'm like fidgeting and moving around. I just have a really stiff neck. there is okay uh you want me to grab a flyer really is that it okay sure i mean okay then if that's really all i gotta do so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this flyer and then we'll be right back. All right, I am back and I got the flyer. It was just some regular person that was like posting it up, not that big a deal. Actually, I want to strike a knot. What is this? Are you serious? I don't even have enough items to buy some simple gift. Let's see. 
bargain bin. Literally can't do anything. Money is so hard to come by in this game. Why is it like so hard to get money? Let's do it. Let's do this thing. He already has the information. Stupid. Hey! That's dope. That is dope. Yo, that's one cool ass looking owl. Like, what is that black stuff on? That black little, like, ribbon thingy? Like, is that just like a accessory? Amazing. And look at the color of his feathers. How long do I gotta wait for this information? I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this. ordinary guardsman and is the monstrum at all going to meet up with this other normal or ex normal at all i don't know what that was supposed to mean but you guys know what i'm trying to say hopefully yo what is up with this guardsman i'm pretty sure he's talking about the um that the black market dealer Right, Maxim? So... What? This is kind of crazy. insane this is kind of wild i did not expect this to happen in all honesty <laughs> and why is the guard like allowing us to do this like why is he actually you know what i mean like i don't get it Even for us guards, the prison is a mystery. I do not like the sound of that at all. I really, really don't. But this is kind of wild. This is kind of insane. I'm assuming this lever opens that door. It's either going to open the door or a bunch of monsters are going to come out. Yo, are the two adults about to meet? Are the two adults about to meet? Supposed to pull one of these levels? Le le levers? The le levers? Okay. 
Yo, this prison is nuts, dude. This prison is nutty. Just wanted to double check real fast. But this is kind of wild. A little bit wild. Interesting, but what is this? That's not the owl. What the heck is this little small beast? And what is this music? I don't understand what's happening right now. This is so confusing. It's a type of sacred beast? That's a sacred beast, really. I don't I don't see what the point of this is. Sure, why not? You look like fun, Rusty. Did he just call me Rusty? Do I look old to you? Right ways, sideways. It's all a jumble in here, huh? But have no fear, for I, the exalted Xavier, am here! Xavier? Okay, he calls himself Adol the Adventurer. This is supposed to be a side quest? There's no way this is a side quest. I, I, I completely got that wrong. Alright. Alright then, let's go! Xavier joined the group. There are probably still some active traps around, so be careful. He joined the group, but I can't use him. That, that makes sense. But I have no idea what's happening right now. We just apparently hits a sacred beast. Sacred beast rule, he calls himself Zav Xavier Xavier. Is that how he pronounced it? Xavier? He's helping us find this intel. Why? I have no idea. What he was doing in the prison, I have no idea. Why that guard asked this adult to do this job, I also have no idea. So what in the heck is going on here? Over here, where? Right there. We got some information. We have got some information, folks. If I can only just climb up this... This man can't double jump, it's so ridiculously... What the heck? Dude, what is this? Dude, this prison is kinda insane. Like, do you guys see this? Look at all these secret passages that are in here. And remember, the, the prison is old, like it's an old... Place? Some kind of archive? Rusty. Xavier? Xavier? Not really Xavier, right? Pick a book and get to reading. So we're looking for information to get here. I mean, for like, essentially for the other adults. This adult is looking for information for the other adult. Look at that. Look at the irony of that. Nothing. By the prison warden? That's, that's nothing. What about this one? Construction projects. Okay. Is there some more over here? Over here? There we go. Okay. Guards patrol schedule. Dope. Map. Guard patrol schedule. Who's that? Who's that?
Did they catch on? Did their memory just get altered? What just happened? And he's back. Okay. Wait, I mean, but like, you literally let him do this. Like, I don't understand. Do you think I'm just gonna sit here? Yeah, this prison is kind of wild. It's kind of crazy. Here's my... Here's my cuts? This guardsman is so confusing. Like, I actually do not understand what this guy's thinking. I'm so confused right now. I literally do not understand. I'll pass you any jobs that might fit your fancy. What is he thinking? Hey, it's this guy. The uh, sacred beast. Xavier. I hope I'm saying that right because it literally wasn't this, uh, this part where I learned about him. So hopefully I didn't say that wrong. Sure, sure, sure. That was very strange. So the prison guard gave him the request that of us wanting to... Wait. Could that howl have transformed into that thing? That wouldn't make sense, right? I don't think that would make sense. Although this place doesn't make any sense. No, it has to be. How did he... Huh? So... So we just came to him to get information. He sent an owl there. That guard essentially took on the request of this shady dealer. Got the information using the other adult. And then there was that, that conveniently there was that little sacred beast. Could that have been the owl in a transformed form? Or did the owl merely contact the guardsman? I don't know. I may be reading way too much into that, but I find that whole sequence extremely interesting. Alright, so we're gonna go set up this plan with Parks and then we'll call it a video. Cause uh, I've been recording for over an hour now and I, I, don't want, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this down to like a 30-40 minute video. Unless we're gonna go straight into this. Cloaca Maxima. We're here again. We're gonna go there again. Sure. Okay. So. We're gonna end things here. We'll continue on with this quest in the next one just because I don't know how like how the editing is gonna work out for this And I don't want to just keep going because who knows how long this quest is because it does not feel like an ordinary quest However, I do want to quickly check the quest board Okay, that's still there 2,500 gold yo Okay yeah, so I'm definitely going to finish this in the next one. Definitely going to finish this in the next one. We'll hopefully also finish those other quests in the next one and then we'll move on with the story. Anyways, I'm going to end things here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a great, great, great day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.